And just last year, August, we had the 24th World Scout Jamboree in the United States. We had some scouts who participated from Nigeria and over 55,000 young people across the globe participated in the youth program. And the essence of this majorly is to build global citizens that are able to develop strategies and decide on how they plan to contribute to their communities. Scouting purpose is about community development. It's about personal development. It's about social development. It's about self-reliance. It's about courage. It's about national development. So if we, if we, if we go back to history and analyze over the past uh, a few years, the Ministry of Youth and uh, Sport has been a very big stakeholder with us in our national uh, dealings. And during our last uh, annual general meeting, we were able to get the commitment of the ministry to work out a strategic plan on how we can develop young people and raise 10 million active members by 2023. As we speak today, we have over 3 million young people across Nigeria who are contributing to their communities and worlds on the basis of the Scout values. And our vision is to enable more young people. We want to engage more young people. And how we do this is through our fundamental principles, which are found in our, in our strategic uh, document and our laws and promise. We engage them through the school curriculum. Scouting finds as the largest youth organization in the country and in the world, we find our way through the school curriculum. And how do we do this? We catch them young. We have a catch them young policy wherein when, we, when the school is set up, we deploy the local scouting mechanism to go there and find the young people that are in need of development. And when we do this, we can quite possibly engage as many more as young people that we can get into the youth program. And today the program, the youth program, is the basis upon which we, the adults, provide support. And all over the world today, the international organizations have got tremendous partnership with the scout movement. Going to the United Nations in Geneva, we signed a new pact allowing scout to be key stakeholders to the United Nations on the implementation of the sustainable development goals. Today, as we speak, we are one of the biggest executors of the sustainable development goals in the in the world and globally also we have partnership with the world health organization our humanitarian responses over the course of the covid 19 pandemic has been of a remarkable uh, uh, degree because we we've seen scouts around the world supporting people who are internally displaced and those who have got little or nothing to uh, to live on in these uh, trying times of the pandemic and you go to education, we have strong collaboration and we enjoy almost 2% of the United Nations International Children Emergency Funds around the world for the implementation of projects that could help young people to be self-fulfilled as individuals. So coming back home to Nigeria, we have had our challenges and scouting has been one of the most formidable means to put young people out to become uh, responsible individuals. Today, as we speak in Nigeria, we have over 3 million scouts. And not only that, we have extra active adults who are numbering about 130,000 that are supporting young people to become agents of positive changes. And what we are looking at by 2023 is we want to develop more young people to become responsible people for leadership, for uh, community development, and also to make our nation a great one. And this is being captured in our strategic priority and some of the working document that the association has developed for the management of our youth engagement. And we are working on policy too, like the national youth policy that was just uh, uh, deployed. Our team has developed a review team to do peer-to-peer -peer review of the document. We are studying the element of the document and we are key on announcing the potentials that this innovation could bring. We are concerned about the priorities of the ministry and as a youth-led organization, we are also looking at how to quickly facilitate the implementation of this robust youth initiative from the Federal Ministry of Youth. So we, from our end, you have a commitment and we continue to support the youth uh, ministry to develop its strategic objectives. 
We appreciate the Honorable Minister who has brought tremendous innovations into the youth fora. And we commend our facilitators, our directors, the permanent secretary, and other people who are working to bring our nation's best uh, priorities out at the moment. The youth are very important. And as a youth organization, we are key on supporting the ministry every day, every time we get the opportunity to do so. So thank you very much. Long live the Federal Ministry of Youth and long live Scout Station of Nigeria. Thank you.